Yeah. So I think there's been enormous uh, advances in the last few years. We've seen the, um, um, you know, approval of two CAR T cell therapies and multiple myeloma targeting BCMA. Um, and I think the, um, you know, we saw a lot of updates at EHA, um, of, uh, bites in, 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 uh, CAR T cells. Um, so I think there are the, the two things I think that are most exciting are the, the bites, which I think are coming. Um, and I think we're expecting to see approval of a BCMA bite in the near future, uh, given how that data, those data are maturing. Um, and so I think having sort of an off the shelf product that can, um, you know, engage T cells, uh, and, you know, um, work as immune therapy will be really, uh, helpful, uh, both for patients that can't wait for CAR T cells. And especially given the difficulties with manufacturing CAR T cells, um, um, and then, uh, also because it'll allow for combinations with other therapies. So it would allow us to combine a bite with other myeloma therapies, which I think, um, this thing else is being tested and is very exciting. Um, and then I think the other really exciting thing is identifying new antigenic targets, um, for immune therapies. So, um, there was some, uh, presentations on the on GPRC 5D as a target, which I think is, um, very, very promising both with CAR T cells and, and bites. Um, and I think there are other antigenic targets that are being tested as are earlier in the developmental phase. And I think if, if we want to think about ever curing multiple myeloma, it's going to require immune therapies that target multiple antigens. And so having these multiple antigens that are, um, that are targetable and that have activity in myeloma is going to be really important. Um, and hopefully we'll eventually get us to a point where you know, we can put people into deep remissions and potentially even cure them.